guys, this machine, I'm looking at my battery because it looks like I am going to run out of battery and I don't know when. So let's get this done. Uh, this is Mishy Beauty. I am here with my first Ipsy Glam Bag Plus on this channel. First of its kind here on this channel. So we're going to go ahead and get to box unboxing. Uh, this was, I believe it was $25 dollars a month $25 a month the glam bag um, and that is going to be all full-size products so let's go ahead and get this started let's open the box this is what I have and it says don't be pretty like them be pretty like you I don't know if you guys can see this because it looks backwards to me all right it's got the blue foam this is what it looks like here let's go ahead and take the brochure out it says ipsy glam bag plus your dreams are your realities in waiting hashtag ipsy daydream this looks backwards i'm not sure how I can flip it. It looks backwards to me. I don't know how it looks to you guys. And on this brochure, it gives you uh, the items, what they retail at, and a small description of those items. So let's go ahead and get started and see what's in. I'm sorry, let's have this take a minute to focus back on me. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm seeing in here is a Murad, which I love this brand. Let's see, how can we do this? Let's turn it so it can focus on it. Huh, there we go, Murad. It is a Murad Resurgence Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Cream. Okay. Uh, what does it say about this? The value is $85. Now I'm really too close. <laughs> the value is $85, it's saying. You've tried eye creams before, we hope, but if we're being totally honest, an eye serum is what you need to get serious results in no time. The thinner consistency of this Murad eye serum penetrates deep into your skin and the potent cocktail of peptides and retinol minimizes the look of fine lines and crow's feet all right so i don't have crow's feet just yet but this will prevent it i'm sure it is sealed no need to pull that out i will not need to smell it or anything the next thing we have in here it's called face hero Okay, a powerful and protective face oil. I'm glad to see that they have skincare products in here. Um, let's see what we have here. Face Hero, Face Hero. Do, do, do. $34 value. This multitasking, good for you cocktail of natural ingredients comes to the rescue by hydrating parched skin. Blah, blah, blah. Massage five drops on to clean skin after your daily serum and before moisturizer. All right. So this is Face Hero, a protective face oil. Now, I'm already using serums on my face, oil serums on my face. This is what it looks like. It has a dropper. That's what it looks like. Mmm, kind of smells good. It smells better than the one I have. And when you open it, it does say, you really love using me. You really love using me. Let's see if it'll focus. No, it's too close. I'd have to change the lens. It says, you really love using me. Well, we're going to see if that's true. Let's see, I did not put any lip stuff on because I didn't know if we were going to be getting... Uh, lip gloss or lipstick or lip color and I barely have any eyeshadow on I had to take my daughter to a birthday party 
um, and so I have a little bit on. So here we have Tokyo Milk Margot Elena Lip Gloss. We can try that on right now. And what is it saying about this? Value $21. If you've ever wondered if you could find a lip gloss that does it all, this Tokyo Milk formula gives your lips a shiny finish with a hint of shimmer without feeling icky. So what is this? I wonder if this will do anything. Okay, so this is mascara. So let's go ahead. This, um, again, is a $21 value value if I haven't said it already. Let's go ahead and try this lip gloss on. So far I am liking the products I got in my Ipsy bag box. It's actually a box. There's no bag in here at all. So I have my mirror here. And this is a gloss. Ooh, it smells smells good what does it say it has wear it alone for sheer pink wash of color and tons of shine or layer it over bright lipstick for a bold look I've tasted this before this kind of hmm that was my cat talking um luminous lip it's not really saying what that would be but it feels and it it, it kind of smells like it's a citrusy smell tokyo milk i do like it so that's what i have in my mouth right now it feels really nice on this is something that i'll probably keep in my purse as a go-to and this I've seen this brand before it pops up on Instagram it's called Il Maquillage uh, Il Maquillage Icon High Volume and Intense Curl Mascara made in Italy made in Italy I like the packaging the box anyway and then let's see what do we have here it's just your, this is what the, I'm going to have to change this. This is what the uh, packaging looks like here. Yo, maquillage. Let's, maybe we'll try this. This is what the, I like the wand. I really like the wand. Kitty, I really don't care if you don't like the wand. See what I can do here with this. Let's go ahead and try some on. I think my cat is used to being in the shot uh, when she's around me, and now that she's not, I think she might be having this combs through and separates the lashes really well for me. And I like that it's not super duper thick. I really like that it's not super duper thick. And I will pan in close, pan. It's not pan in close, focus in close. So you guys can see the look after it's done. Alright, so I didn't put a lot on, but I do like the, um, what do you say, the applicator for this. I like the way it goes on. So let me try and zoom in so you guys can see. Doesn't provide... A ton of volume and I'm guessing unless 
you but it's just enough for me i'm one of those people that don't need a lot sometimes but if you want more i am imagining that you can just layer this you can just layer it i'm happy with this this i really like the applicator on this i really do let's see if i can let me do something here trying to get used to this camera so there we go I like it so it's not curved at all if you notice it's not curved and it provides just enough um, volume for me but I do like this again this ill maquillage and what is it saying here? Il Maquillage Icon High Volume and Intense Curl Mascara. And they're probably saying curl because it it can curl your lashes when you comb it up. Um, when you can't be bothered to fumble with falsies, reach for a mascara that pumps up your natural lashes minus the messy glue. It says it's a football shaped silicone brush and it grips and coats even the thinnest of lashes. So yeah, and that's what it did and that's why I liked it when I saw it. So that is that. That retails at $25. The last thing in here or the last item in here is a Wander Beauty product. It is Wander Beauty's Wanderous Seascape eyeshadow palette. Not huge, not a huge eyeshadow palette. It's not huge. But let's take a look and see what colors we have in here. You see it? All right, so I'm trying to move this stuff out of the way. Let's see if I can get into it. I'm gonna have to cut. So let me do that and I will be right back. All right, guys, so this is the palette. It is actually, I just bought from Marshalls a Laura Geller New York Montauk Escape palette. <laughs> it's exactly the same size. So I'm gonna do a video on the colors in this palette as well. But this palette has, um, let's, let's open it up and see how many eyeshadows. Here are the colors on the back. Oh, let's see if I can. These are the colors. So let's go ahead. I know it's kind of focusing on me weirdly. Let's zoom back out. So let's take a look at this Wondrous Seascape palette here. They're pretty, 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 pretty. Here are the colors. And I. All right, guys, I experimented with this palette, the Wander. Uh, Wanderous palette by Wander Beauty. It's the first palette that I um, eyeshadow palette I ever received in a uh, subscription box. So I played with this palette. Um, my batteries did die on my phone, so I did have to go and plug them in, uh, plug the batteries in, or put it in the little thing and stick it in the wall. The batteries are now 100%. I am back, but as I was waiting for my uh, batteries to recharge, I played with this palette. So <laughs> this is what um, the colors that you have here. Uh, you have, let me see if I can get up close. You have Coastal, which is the blue color. Sea Foam, which is the color next to that. Sand Dollar, which is this color right here, and above it, you have Golden Reef, which is that golden color here. Uh, sea Salt, which is that pink color right here. And you have the uh, Champagne Harbor, which is this color right here. So I used most of these colors except except the Champagne Harbor. Uh, let me go ahead. I didn't have a ton of fallout, but most shimmers do. I had some fallout. So let me just zoom in and let you guys see. I was just playing around with these colors. 
So let's see, can y'all see? This is what my eye looks like. I obviously put the blue, the darker blue, and kind of smoked it out under here. And I also blended it in up here. And for this area here and here, I went in with the, what is the color? I, I believe it was, yeah, sea salt. I went in with that color. Um in this area over here and here so that is what i came up with i have a, a whelp right here because i was wiping things off that got a little dusty but that's just it's what i came up with guys uh also while i was gone um and the batteries were recharging i took my anastasia beverly hills that i got the other day from um, Marshalls and it was in the color Dusty Mauve. I did put that on my lips and then I put the Tokyo uh, Tokyo Milk Gloss over it and it does look good over uh, this gloss does in fact look good over a matte lipstick but I do like this matte lip color because it is not drying but that is everything in my uh, Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, first one here. Uh, let me back up. That is the first one that I have on this channel. I am going to continue to get the uh, Glam Bag Plus. Um, I am liking what I got in my bag so far simply because what I got in my bag was, I keep saying bag, what I got in my box was um, very useful. It's going to be very useful for me in the skincare uh, lines. Um, so that I am pleased about. I do like the mascara, the Il Maquillage Mascara. Uh, I did put a second coat on. Um, I did not bother to put eyeliner. Instead, I used the darker color. Uh, like I said, called it called coastal. I used that on my, you know, bottom. Um, ooh, eyelash line. So that is what I used. So I don't know. Let me know. I've got this little scratch here. My daughter accidentally scratched me. But um, this is the first time I actually did use, um, do this type of makeup look. I made it up. I didn't get it from anywhere, but it is quite, um, it's daring for me. So that is it. That is what I have in my uh, Ipsy bags, box, bag. That's, that's a uh, box and bag together. But this is the Glam Bag Plus. I am going to say that I do like it. I am, of course, going to look at the other colors. Uh, colors. I am going to look at the other um, boxes that I get. And um, it'll take a few more for me to make a decision as to exactly what my thoughts are on the Glam Plus bag. And for those of you that don't know, I don't even remember if I told you. BoxyCharm, I am giving a break. Uh, and I'm giving Ipsy Glam Bag Plus a shot. Um, so I didn't see... I was getting used to the type of makeup that BoxyCharm was sending. So instead of getting both to review on this channel, I gave my financial wallet a break um, and decided to do one or the other. So I chose Ipsy Glam Bag Plus just because of the type of reviews it was getting on YouTube. So I figured, hey, let me go ahead and give it a shot. I think I'm going to continue on before I make a decision on whether I uh, prefer the Glam Bag Plus over BoxyCharm. Right now, I'm, I'm pleased. I do like the fact that there was skincare products and a good number of skincare products uh, in that box. But this... I've seen with Ipsy so far the types of palettes, face palettes and eyeshadow palettes that they've been giving are quite small. So they haven't really 
that I've seen, they haven't really been able to compete with BoxyCharm on the size of the palettes that they give you for the face and the, the, what do you call it? The eye, not the eyebrows, the um, shadows. So um, let's see what they give next week um, or next month and I will uh, be able to give more of an opinion on this box. But for right now, that is all I have. Um, if you would like to give me a thumbs up, please do. Um, Stay tuned for the next box I'm going to get, which is probably going to be my Allure Beauty box, and that shipped already. So uh, we'll go ahead and wait on that. I will probably test out my Allure Geller palette in the meantime. You might see a video on that. But subscribe to my channel if you would, please, if you're interested in more of what I uh, post online on YouTube. Uh, and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Uh, by now you've seen a lot of Ipsy boxes, but everybody reviews their box in a different way. And everybody tries on their makeup in a different way that they get in the box or skincare. So with that said, I will let you guys go and thanks for tuning in. Bye.